Now, for lovely things less than one, when you are calculating lovely things less than one, it has different um, a special way of doing it. The lovely things less than one is the one that is having bar. They call it it's always have negative from zero to the reverse back of uh, one, which is negative one, negative two, negative three, like that. Exactly. Now in this aspect, now the first thing we we'll love us to know is how to add and subtract logarithms less than one. So that's why we are using multiplication and division. So you know, in logarithms we use multiplication as division and we uh, as addition rather. Why? In division, we use subtraction when we are dealing with logarithms. Now, in this aspect, now let's assume we have a question like this. The question says we should add the following together. Now, let's assume the question says you should add the following logarithms together. Logarithms numbers. We have this power one plus one point five. Now, if you are adding this, the first thing you are going to do is this is a bar. This bar means add, uh, subtraction. Exactly. Whenever you see bar in logarithms, this thing, this sign means subtraction. That is minus one. Exactly. Instead of writing minus one in mathematics in normal uh, uh, topic, in logarithms you don't write minus. We use bar to denote negative. Exactly. So that's why we call it logarithms of number less than one. Hmm? Now in this aspect, now you have a question like this. Question says you should add. This one is a little bit simpler. If you are adding this now, what are you going to do? You add this 5 plus 4, which will give you what? 9. Point minus 1, you treat this as negative. Minus 1 plus 1. So we just minus 1 plus 1, which will give us what? A 0. So that is, this one will be 0. Exactly. So in log things, if you see such case, when you have a bar, it means negative. Eh? Now let's assume you have these two, bar 1.2 and bar 1.3. If you are adding this also, you just add this one together, this uh, decimal together, 5 point, this one is minus 1 plus minus 1. Exactly. So this is minus one plus minus one. So for minus one plus minus uh, plus minus one, we give us what? Minus two, isn't it? Which is bar two. So instead of you writing minus two, you write what? Bar two. Exactly. Now if it is negative also, let's assume we have negative of this. One point seven and uh, one point. Two and it is subtraction exactly, which is we are assuming it is division in logarithms. Now, in this aspect, now if you are solving this, the normal subtraction, but when you get to the to the uh, what's it called, um, characteristics, uh, to this one, what you are going to do here is what you first of all subtract this seven minus two is what five point. Bar 1 minus 1, it means minus 1 minus 1, which will give us what? Bar 2. So we put this one as what? Bar 2. So you are treating the bar as negative. Is that clear now? Hmm? So that's how to solve the addition and subtraction of logarithms. Hmm? How would we know this now? We cannot go to multiplication and division of logarithms. So how can you add, how can you divide or multiply a logarithms? We call them 
power and root of log written to less than 1. Hmm? Now, for power and root of log written less than 1. For a power in log written, as we all know, we are going to multiply. When they say you should find a power of a log written, so you are going to multiply. Why, if it is a uh, root, you are going to divide. But before we go to this power and root, let's first of all check some little example on when it is multiplication. What are you going to do? Let's assume you are multiplying, evaluate the following. Let's assume they say you should multiply this. We have bar 2.4 multiplied by 2. Bar 2.4 multiplied by 2. Now, in this aspect now, the first thing you are going to do is you split this into 2. How are you going to split it? This is how you split. The whole number should be in one side. Why the one of decimal? You add it with the one of decimal. Ah, this is two. You take by two plus this one can be split in such this four can be split in such a way that it will be zero point four. If you add these two together, it will give you this, isn't it? Then you will now do like this: multiply it by what two? Are we getting it? Hmm? Then you are now going to you know it's just as if you want to open bracket. You are now going to multiply it one by one. That is 2 times this will give you what? By 4. Isn't it? Plus 2 times this will give you what? It's 0 0.8. Isn't it? 0 0.8. So when you add it together, now what is it going to give you all together? This is by 4.8. Hmm? So anytime you want to do this, the first thing is you are going to and split this into two, where one will be whole number and the other one will be a decimal. Is that clear? So just add zero point, whatever that is after the decimal point, then you multiply it by the two, the question says you should multiply it by. Then this two now, you now solve it one by one by multiplying two times two. It will give you two times bar two, it will give you bar four. Plus 2 times 0 0.4 will give you 0 0.8. Then you add it together without, don't mind the back. Exactly. So when you add it together, it will give you about 4.8. Hmm? Now let's do another one that is a little bit uh, tricky than this. Let's assume you have this by 2.5 times 3. Uh, 2.5 times 3. Just the way you follow this, that's how you follow this one too. So, by 2.5 times 3 will give you, you split this into 2. Is that clear? So, it will become what? By 2 plus 0 0.5. No, we are not looking for log now. It is when we want to find. Well, we, are, we, we first of all want to know how to multiply and uh, divide. We are assuming this is the log already. Is that correct? So now, how to multiply and how to uh, divide it after we have gotten the log? That's the first thing. Then we will now go into the, the proper way of solving when you are being given a question and you first of all find the log, then you multiply or divide or you add and subtract. Exactly. Now, after you have split this, you multiply it by the 3, then you multiply it 1 by 1. That will be 3 times this will give you what? By 6 plus 3 times this will give you what? 1.5. So it will give you 1.5. You will see this one now that this one.